You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Christian Schaefer with your WMAR 2 News update. A man and a woman are dead in Anne Arundel County and what police believe may have been a murder suicide. It happened in the Harwood area, southern Anne Arundel County. The man and the woman were both found outside of a mobile home park there with gunshot wounds. Police say when they first got to that scene, the woman was already dead. The man was alive and they believe he was the suspect. He has also since died. Police say they're not looking for any more suspects in that investigation in southern Anne Arundel County. Public schools in Harford County will require students, teachers and staff to wear masks when the school year starts. The superintendent says the mandate is expected to last through the entire school year and they're following local and national health recommendations in an attempt to make sure kids can continue in person learning. The news release from the Harford County School System indicates that students who are not wearing masks at school face the possibility of being sent home and a mandatory quarantine of 10 to 14 days. There is a school board meeting in Harford County on Monday night. It'll be in person at the school board headquarters in Bel Air. First day of school in Harford County is September the 8th. Teachers in Baltimore City can look forward to an increase in pay after striking a deal with the city school system. The Baltimore Teachers Union settled its new contract with city schools, so teachers will get a 4.5% raise to be paid out over the next two years. That is the largest salary increase for the Baltimore Teachers Union in the last decade. The agreement also protects their health insurance plans, allows intermittent leave for child care, and guarantees that schools will provide teachers with a work computer if the teacher requests one. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday, everyone. On this Friday, tracking the heat advisories once again because we do have the high heat and the high humidity. Also tracking triple-digit heat indices and severe thunderstorms are possible as we head into the afternoon. It will be more scattered in nature. There's the heat advisory that goes into effect at lunchtime today, lingering until about 7 o'clock this evening. There are the showers and thunderstorms that will move through the area, all courtesy of a cold front that's uh, going to get close to the area and really drop into the area as we head into your Saturday, bringing us more scattered showers and thunderstorms in the picture. Some of those will be strong to severe today. Storm Prediction Center does have us in a marginal risk. The areas there are shaded in the green color. Damaging gusty wind will be the primary threat. High temperatures today making it up to the upper 90s, but once again, we'll feel up to about 107 before it's all said and done. Christian, over to you. Well, another hot one, Lynette. Thanks very much and stay with us online at WMAR2news.com all day long for updates on top stories and breaking news. And for news or weather on the go, you can download the WMAR2 News app from the App Store or just follow us on social media at WMAR2 News. Thanks for watching. I'm Christian Schaefer. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.